<sighs> you know what a therapist told me a long time ago? Cat, you have a very negative inner voice. I was like, wow, you know what? You are so right. I do. And then she said, where does that come from? Whose voice is that? Is that your voice? I recently learned that that negative voice, that's like an accumulation of experiences over life that we've gathered from all sorts of places. The schooling system, society in general, the media, family, friends, people's own fears or opinions or judgments, leaving a mark, you know, in our mind and affecting us and then changing the way that we think and feel and show up in life. And what we get to do is chip away at all of that you know, like be aware of it, see that it's there, acknowledge it, and then kind of chip away at it and start to really discover our own real voice and who we really are. It's a real process to get there. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the relaunch of my YouTube channel. I have been waiting to do this for literally years years oh my gosh so i was recording videos and uploading them and sharing them before like doing youtube was a thing oh my gosh i mean cat you're not ready to do a youtube yet you've got to be perfect like go go to a salon and like get your hair done and get your nails done and I don't know you need to like hire a makeup artist so that you can have like really flawless makeup and you gotta lose weight first and um you should like at least practice what you're gonna say and like definitely don't bore people okay like don't do that okay okay <laughs> oh, I'm so pretty I'm so pretty and so perfect and I got it all right and like I'm so I'm so worth it you know like when I'm perfect that's when I'm worth it help someone inspire someone like trigger a thought or an idea you know and that's why I was doing it and plus I just had fun doing it it's kind of like live journaling I don't know why do any of us do any of the things that we do we like it then life happened and I stopped. So somewhere in 2009, 2009, life hit me like a ton of bricks. Um, yeah, I don't think so. Uh, yeah, no. No, girl, this is not working. Sorry, like maybe back in like prehistoric times you were doing YouTube and like, I guess it was like acceptable, but sorry, like the world's moved on and it's like, it's time for like real influencers to shine, you know, like, and like I put in so much work into my hair and my look and my fashion that like, oops, I'm not gonna let you just like be you without any effort. Oh. Sorry, like not. Mm -mm, sorry, no. Bye, girl. Bye. <laughs> no, sorry. No. I started recording. Oh yeah, and of course the whole crazy evolution of the smartphone, right? Because back when I started, I don't think, I think there was the iPod, but there was not the smartphone. Like we didn't have iPhones yet, and so um, yeah, prehistoric times, right, millennials? <laughs> I'm a millennial too. I think I'm on like the edge. I don't know, I don't care, I hate labels. Well, this is boring. Uh, I don't know why anybody would ever wanna watch this show. Like, you gotta be creative to be creative, okay? <laughs> and what you're doing, just like showing up and sharing randomly, it's not fun. Sorry, checking out, bye. All the time and it's not permanent and so it doesn't have to be perfect and I love that and I got really into snapchat and um, you know sharing videos there once snapchat stopped being like what it was do you guys remember when it first started it was like this kind of like gross thing 
and then it evolved uh, and it became super cool. And then I don't know why it didn't what? like fully take off, because um, it's really a, a cool app. Um, anyways, at least you found a filter that is slightly believable in a world where people airbrush the out of their skin and look like they're porcelain dolls, because this is not real. But somehow it feels acceptable for you to maybe move on, maybe. But then again, you're not being authentic, so mm, nope, doesn't work either. Love, whatever you call it. Um, for so long because I've been waiting for it the right time. I've been waiting for the perfect time. I've been waiting to get back in shape. I've been waiting for my skin to clear up. I've been waiting to get the perfect haircut. This is just so cute. This is so cute. Can this be authentic me? Can this like Disneyland, smiley, big eyed, happy, um, cutie pie? Can this just like be me all the time? <laughs> I love it. I love it. And have fun. And um, not gonna do that anymore. Not gonna wait anymore. Life is now. And I wanna do this. And um, thanks for being there. Thanks for being on the other side of the screen. Um, whoever you are, I wanna connect. Um, and I wanna share stuff that I hope is inspiring, informative, fun, silly, a playful distraction, but then also like an inspiration for something going on in your life. And, you know, I'd love to hear feedback about it too. Um, I haven't even properly planned out what the heck this show is going to be about. Mm -hmm. So this is how you're going to waste your time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is uh, you saving the world? Mm. I don't get it. I don't get it. How, how are you going to explain this to yourself, to your higher self, right? Like you're going to be goofing off, having fun, dicking around if you don't mind the charm. And there's people out there starving. There's people out there who need a helping hand, who need support, who need professionalism, discipline, and look at what you're doing. I guess I should introduce myself. Um, yeah, you guys don't know who the hell I am. Why should you? Unless you're my friends or family, so hey, hi, it's me. So, I am... Catherine Bwai. Uh, I am 37. Oh my gosh, Kat, what are you worrying about? It's just YouTube. Like, who cares? Like, nobody cares. Isn't that so freeing? Like, nothing is real. You live in the matrix. So, like, just stop and have fun, okay? Like, yes, go for it, you know? <laughs> just, like, don't give a shit about anything. Don't. Like, stop. Okay, get out of this, this thing up here, and like move into uh, uh, this, that, oh, oh, that means it's here. It's not like, it's, I mean, it is up there because like love is like sharing and caring, but like it's here. It's about like being here, cat. You know what I mean? Like, get right, get in there. And I am more of a California girl though. I, will, I have my handy coffee cup right here in California. Los Angeles, it is my jam. Um, for me, it is the city of dreams and dreamers. I just love California. If I were a place, I would be California. If that makes any sense. Uh... All of it, north and south. I'm an entrepreneur and I'm a mom and a partner, an artist, a writer. I love adventure. I love motorcycles, jet skis, the beach, the mountains, the city, the country. I love life, getting my hands dirty. I am a builder. I absolutely love building things. I love building brands, businesses, furniture, plans, Legos. 
connected. I'm a connector. I like connecting people. So that's me. Cat 2.0 is a freaking cartoon. Let's wrap this up and see you guys in the next video, which will, um, 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 oh, I don't know what it will be about. And you're probably like, what the f did I just watch? Who is this person and why should I care? This is gonna get more interesting, I promise you that. Uh, I'll start sharing some really fun stuff with you. And we're back. Yes. Yes, we are. Here we are. A cartoon in cartoon land. Because if I could live anywhere, like anywhere, it would be in a world of imagination. Not just my imagination, but like other people's imaginations. Like in a world of dreams. In a world of dreams. This is just, this is like my personal heaven. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good here being a cartoon. This is Cat 2.0 in like an alternate space, you know? Like, yeah. This isn't a filter, but it is. Do you know what I mean? Like, let's let's get real for a moment. How could I not be this like Disney cutie pie and still be 100% authentically me? Like who I see in this cartoon. How can who I see reflected back at me through this filtery cartoon person be the real me? Are you getting, are you getting me? I'm getting a little too esoteric and out there for you.